So you're thinking about moving to Little Italy in San Diego. Well, I'm currently walking along India Street, which is where all the action's at. It's known for its restaurant scene and it's become a huge tourist and local spot. It's just minutes to the San Diego airport and about 20 miles north of the Mexican border. Today I'm going to show you around, I'm going to talk about the various price points as well, and then I'm going to walk you through three listings that are currently for sale in the neighborhood to give you an idea of what's available to purchase here and for how much. Then I'm going to close out with a market recap of the area. Ready to see San Diego's most popular neighborhood? Let's go. Hey, if this is your first time to my channel, welcome. And if you want to learn everything there is to know about San Diego and surrounding areas so you can live like a local, make sure you subscribe and tap that bell to be notified so you can be first to learn about the market here oh, in San Diego, California. My name is Jamie and my team and I help people from all over the country relocate and invest in real estate right here in San Diego. So whether you're looking to make a move now or you're just planning ahead for your future, make sure you give us a call, shoot us a text, send us an email. We are happy to help you make that move to the best city in California where we do everything but the packing. So right now it's late morning and all the restaurants are preparing for the lunch crowd and then, you know, the dinner crowd. But this street heading, you know, noon on, it gets packed with people. So if you're interested, if you enjoy that type of vibe where there's lots of people, lots of action, things going on, then this is the street, this is the neighborhood you're gonna wanna check out. When people hear Little Italy, they think of Little Italy in New York, but actually the biggest Little Italy in the country is located right here in San Diego. It used to be a big tuna fishing industry, and that's why Italian immigrants settled here in the mid 1800s for work. Now in present days, this area is dedicated to Italian heritage, and we get to enjoy one of the best cuisines on earth, at least in my book, Italian food. It's the best food on Mother Earth if you ask me. Little Italy is about two square miles with really there being two main streets. You have India Street, which is where I'm located, and Kettner Avenue. And that's where you'll find the majority of the restaurants and shops are. People come out here to dine. It's very well known for the restaurant scene and for good reason. We have Born and Raised, which you enjoy steak. This is the place to be. I've had one of my best dinners ever at this place. It's not only magnificent the second you walk in, but the service is top quality and the food is even better. There's also Queenstown, which is a popular New Zealand restaurant, Ironside for top quality seafood and oyster bar, Waterfront Bar and Grill, which is the oldest bar known to San Diego. There's Kettner Exchange, which is an upscale cocktail bar with killer skyline views. And you can't forget about Camino Riviera, which turns into a nightclub late Friday and Saturday nights. And the local speak easy false idol, which takes you on that tropical experience. That's yeah, that's here too. Location wise, it just can't be beat, especially if you are someone who enjoys living somewhere that's walkable. If you, you have the marina close by and Seaport Village, Balboa Park, which is the largest cultural park in the US. There you'll also find the San Diego Zoo. Let's not forget that close by is Petco Park, which is home of the San Diego Padres. The nearest beach is about a 10 minute drive, whether you go to OB, which is Ocean Beach, or Coronado. They both have dog beaches as well, so if you have a pup, there you go. One reason I love this area and hope it never changes is due to how clean it is compared to the rest of the downtown area. Every morning you're going to find crews scrubbing the sidewalks. You'll, you will see homeless, but only a fraction of what you see in other parts of downtown. Majority being in the East Village and Gaslamp area. The median age is 37 and 48% of residents have never been married, which tells me that this is a hot spot for singles and young professionals. Maybe I should start a singles and mingles group. I can be known as the most eligible matchmaker in Little Italy. Ring, have a good ring to it, you tell me. It's also a safe neighborhood and quiet, depending of course on where you're located. In the center of Little Italy, you will find the Piazza del Familia, where they have cultural events, the food hall, and street artists performing. The biggest farmer's market can be found here on Saturdays. It spans about six blocks, maybe even more. It's open rain or shine, and it hosts hundreds of local vendors. They also have one on Wednesday, but I always say it's more for the residents because it's, it's much smaller and it's mainly uh, produce. All right, I think it's about time we go and check out some active listings in the area. Okay, here we are. We're at our first listing. 
This is a two bedroom condo located in the Aqua Vista building. This unit has 822 square feet and it's located on the 12th floor. This unit is listed at 795,000. The one thing I'll say about this building is that it's kind of, it kind of reminds me of dorm rooms. The units run small. The community is huge with 382 units and the HOA is a bit high too at 812 a month. is blinding okay we made it to our second listing that I want to show you today and that is at the village walk building it's located on India Street this is a penthouse loft so it has soaring ceilings this unit is extremely bright just look at that natural lighting it has one bedroom one and a half baths it's a spacious 876 square feet condo and guess what this building is also VA approved come on veterans where are you at all right heading to our third and final listing this is a cool one this is a single family home now there's hardly any single family homes in little Italy so the fact that this comes on the market it's a true gem uh, the ones that are in in this area are all historic Victorian home so let's go check it out this home is a historic Victorian house built in 1888 this beauty is listed at 1 million six hundred and fifty four thousand has three beds with two baths with just over 1300 square feet it's a charmer and it has so much character and the location just can't be beat you're close to the dog park you have the farmers market just one block away Hey, I'm thankful that this home has been on or is on the market, so I was able to show you, but it won't last long and it will be a while before we see another single family home available in Little Italy. But here you go. Single family home in Little Italy. It's cute, right? Okay, so to recap the market, this neighborhood has gained so much popularity over the last few years, and it's made it extremely desirable for both those who are purchasing for their primary residence, but also for purchasing for investments. A lot of people see the benefit of purchasing a rental unit here, uh, because if we look at the rental market, it has risen over 20% in just over a year. The average for a one bedroom apartment right now is around 3,000, but you will see some one bedroom units going for 4,000 a month, but that's also depending on the building and the size of the unit. I do foresee this leveling out sometime, but I don't believe it's anytime soon, not this year. Every time we look at rentals, they seem to increase by the month, but we know the rental market is flawed uh, at the moment because a lot of people have been driven out of their homes due to the, the huge spikes in uh, rentals after, of course, especially after the rental moratorium in California expired last year. But for people looking to purchase here, know that this area of downtown is the most competitive. Currently, there are only six active listings in the area, just six. Now, I did say it's only two square miles, but still, six is very little. We are heading into the spring market, though. So we should see an adjustment to the number of homes that are on the market, but only time will tell. So the median price is at 750,000, which is up 27% compared to this time last year. But spring is approaching, which is the most competitive time of year. Hey, like I said before, whether you're looking to make a move now or you're just planning ahead for your future, make sure you give us a call, shoot us a text, send us an email, because we are happy to help you make that move to the best city in California. And as always, my friends, stay classy, San Diego.